Here in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, dot product and what exactly dot product means. Uh, we know that vector A dot vector B is given by A, B cos theta. So what does this exactly mean? And that's what we're going to attempt to understand in this video. Let's say we have two vectors. Let's say we have this vector A and let's say this is vector B. And these two vectors could be any vector quantity. This could be, say, for example, force, and this could be displacement. But let us keep these general values vector A and vector B. Now, this angle is theta, the angle between the two vectors. And the dot product of this is given by AB cos theta. So, what does this AB cos theta mean? Now, dot product of A dot B, AB cos theta, can be written as a into b cos theta and i'll try to understand what b cos theta is so let me draw this diagram again i'll draw a slightly bigger diagram uh, in this we are not too worried about the direction and the magnitude in terms because i'm not trying to scale so let's say this is vector a and this is vector b and this is angle theta now let me try to find out what is b cos theta to understand b cos theta what i will do is i will take a perpendicular, take a perpendicular of vector A onto vector B. So what I'll do is I'll extend this. And from this, say for example, from vector point B, I'll draw a perpendicular over here. So let us say this angle is theta. And let me call this angle P, triangle PQR. So in triangle PQR, what is cos theta? This is theta, cos theta is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So this is 90 degrees, so P, this PB, PR becomes the hypotenuse. This is the opposite side, so PQ, adjacent sides upon PR, is equal to PQ upon, what is PR? PR is nothing but vector B, the magnitude of vector B, cos theta. Therefore, PQ is equal to B cos theta. So this particular length, this is B cos theta. And therefore, in this equation, this is B cos theta is basically this particular, uh, this particular vector or this particular line. Now, if I have to explain this in words, what, what will I say? B cos theta is lying on vector A. And B cos theta is that component of vector B, that component of vector B which is on A. So, B cos theta is nothing but that part of vector P, which has the same direction as vector A. So, when I write A B cos theta, I am multiplying vector A or magnitude of vector A and that part of vector B, that part of vector B which is, has the same direction as vector A. And therefore, B cos theta as well A have the same direction. And therefore, in that sense, the, the, for this particular combination of vector, uh, dot product, the direction loses its significance because we are taking that component of another vector which has the same direction as vector A. Um, what I will do is I will do the same activity considering A cos theta and C and that will probably help you understand it still better. So, vector A dot B can also be written as B A cos theta. And I can again take both the vectors A and B and again do the same exercise, vector A, vector B. In this case, I want to find out A cos theta. So I'll drop a perpendicular from vector A onto vector B. And again, I'll call this P, Q, R. Or let me call this as P, Q, R. Uh, to have similarity, you know, where I'm getting 90 degree, I should have Q. So I'll call this Q and this as R. This is 90 degree. So what is A cos theta? If this is theta then cos theta is equal to adjacent side. Yes, this is the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse adjacent side. So PQ upon, upon the hypotenuse, which is PR is equal to, what is PR? PR is vector, the magnitude of vector A. This is PQ, therefore PQ is equal to A cos theta. And again, what do we see? A cos theta is this, the one which I have Show, I'm showing over here a cos theta. So this is a cos theta. This is a cos theta. 
and again I can use it the same way it is that part of vector A that part of vector A which has the same direction as vector B and when I multiply B into A cos theta what am I doing I am multiplying vector B that is this particular magnitude into this magnitude so I am taking up two vectors in the same direction and therefore direction loses its significance and hence we say that A dot B is the scalar product just a final quick word that is what we do in case of if I take instead of A and B if I call this F and displacement we know that F dot S which is work done is given by F S cos theta and therefore what this means is when I take S cos theta what, what it basically means is that I am taking vector force or the magnitude of vector force and that component of displacement which is in the direction of force or the other way around I am taking the magnitude of displacement that is this entire thing and that component of the force which is in the direction of displacement because it is only that component which causes displacement in this direction and therefore work is f dot s fs cos theta and this turns out to be a scalar quantity thank you